Next installment from Lucid Frontier. We're going to give you a rundown on our next video song. Original, by the way. All original. And it's called Who Remembers Their Names. And uh, so, cue the titles. We'll be right back. Who remembers their names? In the last video we talked about what it was about. And this is for our veterans of all the wars that have offered their services for our freedoms. Indeed. And we should be damn grateful too. And if you don't think you got freedom, well, you know, there's an election. You don't get thrown in jail for saying what you think. And uh, you can argue that but that's what's truly going on and uh, just wanted to point that out. This song uh, was written in a drop D tuning on a piece of junk guitar many years ago and all I did was bar it as you can see here and uh, that was kind of it and I did it in a major key so sad song in a major key yeah if you go back and look at our tutorials, you know what that means. So it was done in a major key, and then uh, there's sort of a interlude where it chromatically drops down uh, one note at a time, and then it goes to the chorus. Um, just so you know, when you do go to the chorus, it actually changes key. Now, it changes to a relative key, but it actually changes key in the song. And then, somehow, out of the magic of music, we get back to that original key and start the whole thing again. And that's how it was written, uh, strangely enough. And uh, as I said in the last video, the lyrics came into the fray, into the fire. It just sort of materialized out of that. The lyrics were there and available and just came out of my mouth. And that was it. The whole song was probably written 10 minutes. That's the truth. The horn part, I thought, you know, with that melancholy uh, memorial, you always have a bugle. And uh, so I used my trumpet. And though I'm probably the worst trumpet player in the world, I could squeeze out a handful of notes and what I did is I did the same thing twice. Wow, I did it twice. And I doubled that and then put them apart so there's a bit of an echo in there so it makes it larger and maybe gives more um, sorrow or a sorrowful feeling to the, that portion of the song. The guitar solo, that just was there. It, it, the notes had to be played. They were so engaging that just they had to be played and I, I just put them down and it was not not a one-off but it took about five minutes to find them and the solo was there and uh, that's all I'm gonna say about the song so stay tuned next week for who remembers their names hopefully we'll get this done by Remembrance Day November 11th so stay tuned There's my poppy. Hmm. Thought I'd lost it.